Today we bring out one compound machine called a bicycle. The bicycle have three simple machines that works together which are the lever, wheel and axle and the pulley. Lever is a long tool such as a pull or a rod put under an object to lift it. The lever is more efficient when combined with a fulcrum. Pulley is actually a version of a wheel and axle that is combined with a rope or other cord to allow moving something up and down or back and forth. An axle is a rod or pull centered in the wheel that allows the wheel to turn around it. The wheel then spins in a balance circle to be used as transportation. Here we have the free body diagram of the bicycle. Uh, the first one is uh, the lever system, present the uh, pedal assembly on the bicycle. Secondly, um, this pulley system here represent the sprocket and chain system on the bicycle and the wheel and axle. Uh, we, on the rear wheels, we got the contact point between the tyre and the ground. At the contact point, we have three forces which is the motion force, resultant force, the frictional force and the normal reaction. The overall weight of the bicycle and the rider are exerted, both uh, axles which we can see here. As the tyre spin clockwise, uh, it exerts force backwards which is the resultant force. Uh, and the frictional force is opposite to the resultant force which makes it um, di directed forward. As the bicycle mo move forwards, um, the emotional force is directed forward and because of that, the frictional force is directed backwards. For the lever, force will be applied vertically on the, on the pedal. So the, the force applied will be transferred through the lever, the, this part, to the, wheel, uh, to the sprocket. So now tension between will be will be occur. So in order for the chain to revolve within the sprocket, the sprocket and the chain they act as a pulley system, which means the pulley used to change the direction of, of the force. So because the force apply is in vertical, we will now be hori moving horizontal within this area. As the force is moving horizontally within this area, you can see for for the visual, uh, the sprocket here is connected with the wheel and the axle. So that's why the wheel will also, will also be moving simultaneously as the sprocket is moving. So that's how the bicycle is moving forward.